Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I will be planning and setting my bullet journal up for February and then also showing you all of my completed spreads from January. If you guys want to check out my January plan with me, the link will always be in the description box. So yeah, let's get going. I'm going to start off with a quick little flip through and here we go. Here's my theme for January. I went for a very like wintry kind of a vintage ski resort type of thing. Um, I did this little art piece on my iPad on the app Procreate and then throughout the month I used all these little stickers that I also drew on Procreate, printed them out and then incorporated them with some washi tape, other Tombow markers, all that cute stuff. I really like the color scheme for this. It was something pretty different from what I have done in the past and it's always fun to kind of figure out different ways to incorporate the theme into the spreads that I consistently make um, like for multiple years in a row. So here are my weekly spreads. So I also incorporated some colored paper just to add some texture and stuff like that. And one little section that I've been including on my weekly spreads has been a section for the books that I read that week just because I have been reading books left and right. So I wanted a place to kind of track them. I have one for like the entire year, but I also wanted it so I could see how many I was reading per week. So I also have this spot at the end for books read in January where I will eventually print out all the covers of the books that I read this month just as a little way to track them and I think that'll be cute and fun, um, something that I have never done before. So now moving on to February, I wanted to go all out for Valentine's Day here because I haven't done that for a while and I thought that that would be really fun to do and I felt like um, incorporating Valentine's Day into my spreads this month. So I went for a baking theme because I thought that went well with Valentine's Day. So I drew out this little sketch on my iPad on the app Procreate and then I printed it out and then I am using a combination of watercolor for the background and then acrylic paint for pretty much everything else. Um, I sized this paper wrong so later on you're going to see I had to cut out like quite a bit of the cute stuff at the bottom in order to fit this in my bullet journal but that's fine. It ended up turning out great I think. And I had a lot of fun painting this with all of the various pinks and blues. So along with this little drawing that I did on my iPad, I also drew out some stickers in a similar color scheme with light pink, reds, blues, and um, you'll see those later. But I kind of based my color scheme off of those stickers just so I kind of kept everything pretty cohesive. So the acrylic paint that I'm using here is literally from the dollar store but it gets the job done and it's not like it's anything fancy. It's just going right into my bullet journal. I typically put the original one right in there because my printer is not awesome enough to scan and stuff like that. And um, I wouldn't know what else to do with the original one. So it um, just goes right into my bullet journal. And um, yeah, so I also have this little hand at the top putting a strawberry on the cake and here I am adding some details with pens. Um, I have like a sparkly pen and um, black one just to outline some things, adding some white dots for details. And then for the title, I drew this out on Procreate just so I made sure that it was like all straight and lined up and everything. And then I just went over it with a black marker and then I am cutting it out and trying to size it for my bullet journal. And then this is where I realized that I sized it wrong. But regardless, I love how this one turned out. I think it's one of my all-time favorites, maybe. So let me know what you think of it. And for the rest of my setup, I'm going to be using these Tombow brush markers in my color scheme, and then also my favorite Muji gel pen in black. 
So I'm gonna begin by making my calendar. Of course, I sized this out first of all with a pencil, counting all of the little squares so I got everything nice and lined up. And then I'm outlining it with my Moody gel pen and um, a ruler to keep everything nice and straight. On the side, I made two little boxes for expenses and events. And then I'm outlining my February title at the top of the page. And for the bottom, I wanted to incorporate all these fun colors that I have. So I'm just kind of making this squiggly design and coloring that in and then adding in another color um, beside it. So for the boxes, I colored those in just to make it even more colorful. And I'm outlining my title in black. Um, looking back on this page now, I think I incorporated a little bit too much black into it compared to kind of the aesthetic I was going for. So here I am using those stickers that I created and talked about earlier. They're so cute. I love them so much. And I'm just kind of filling up my page, adding in all of the dates. I colored in the parts of the calendar that are not February just to kind of differentiate things and um, add some more color. So that is the completed calendar. I think it's really cute and it'll be great for the upcoming month. All right, moving forward, we have this random spread. On the right, I have a books read section. So it's kind of the same thing that I added at the, as a tag on my January flip through little thing. So I'm gonna print out the covers and include those in here because it's just fun and reading is fun. So that's cool. And then on the other side, I have my goals and favorites. And I'm cutting those out, or I'm using scrap of paper that I cut out and put on there, adding some stickers, adding some little doodles, hearts, all that stuff. And that's the page, very simple, but should be functional for the month. And lastly, we have my first weekly spread. I began by using the same scrapbook paper to cut out some little hearts to use throughout here. Um, this was really fun to do. And then I wrote out my February title in red, added some little doodly hearts and some stickers for all the titles for the days of the week. I did a background with light blue and then I did um, just some cursive on top. Continued to fill up the page with little doodles and I also am using just like a simple red pen over here. Nothing fancy and I think it will be great to use throughout the month for like to-do lists and stuff just to change it up from the typical um, black pen. So that'll be cool. And that is how this page turned out. And here is just a quick flip through of all of my February spreads. I absolutely love this theme. Um, I think this cover page is probably one of my all time favorites in all four years of bullet journaling and making cover pages. So let me know your thoughts on the theme. I would love to chat in the comments. And that is it for today's video. As I continue throughout the month, I will continue to make weekly spreads, which you guys will see in my March plan with me. So. Um, yeah, that's it for today. Have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.